light coming to you i hope uh this video finds finds you and your uh, loved ones in the best of health and in the best of spirits and uh this is cyberspace ministry man it's so cold up here in the lakes man it's cold the wind is whipping like Chicago. I mean, the hawk is talking, baby. The hawk is doing more than talking. The hawk is hollering. But enough of that weather report. And let's get right down to it. I'm making this video right here exclusively for the House of Consciousness, uh, Sinetta, uh, and his uh, crew. For Brother Polite and his crew, uh, Sarah Suit and Seti and his crew, and that includes uh, Young Pharaoh, and uh, also for the uh, elders that Dr. Uma mentioned, and also Dr. Uma. You know, this is. Uh, Cyberspace Ministry. I'm uh, the Aboriginal Universal Supreme Conscious Council of the Elders. And uh, I want y'all to dig on this right here, what I'm about to say. See, does it make any sense? And I want y'all to think over it, you know, just in case y'all run across this video. Y'all might not pay me no never mind since since I don't have but one or two viewers. But nevertheless, I'm going to say this anyway. And if anyone uh, else, uh, other than those I mentioned, run across this video, uh, see, see does this mean? I mean, see does this uh, means anything to you? And uh, so let's get started. Uh... It's been, you know, my uh, pledge to uh, unify my people. Even those that's uh, under the spell of the Caucasian. Maybe we could turn them, you know. Sometimes they make the best warriors, you know. Seems like we're having a, a cyberspace war. Uh, I'm not in it, you know, but... Uh, I'm just uh, trying to uh, take us up to another level of thinking because we seem to be stuck back there in the 60s, you know. So I'm going to say this, you know, in Detroit, it's a lot of lots, a lot of vacant land, a lot of, a lot of ab abundant, abandoned schools, a lot of abandoned factories, a lot of uh, abandoned houses. A lot of uh, vacant storefronts. It's just, you know, uh, vacancies everywhere. Especially in the inner uh, city. Not so much downtown. But on the east side, west side, everywhere you look, you're going to run into blocks and blocks of vacant property of some sort. So this is what I'm saying. Uh... If uh, you brothers could just uh, make up, you know, not kiss and make up, because I, I don't want to imply that y'all, y'all, y'all hom homos or anything like that, but uh, shake hands and make up, put it like that. And y'all got a, the bulk of the uh, the viewers. You know, and then you got those that uh, uh, profit off of y'all. You know, the, the spinoffs, spinoffs of what y'all, what y'all got cooking up. You know, all that controversy y'all got going. So this is what I suggest. You know, this is this is this is just an idea. You know, uh, why don't y'all brothers, you know, buy up Detroit? You know, 
Because y'all got a, y'all, y'all know a lot of influential people. And a lot of influential brothers. And if I feel like it, if y'all would make a, a effort to buy up uh, some of these vacant schools, not only would Dr. Umar uh, benefit from that, but let me tell you what you can do with the vacant schools other than, you know, have a, uh, education and scholastic type stuff. See, the brothers need trade schools. And working with uh, modern technology, uh, they're going to need uh, modern equipment, you know. We also don't have a car company. So why not take a uh, 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 you know, scrap scrap cars, you know, put modern technology in them and make them so that you can convert them to uh, solar energy or hydrogen energy. You know, they can convert either to solar energy and gas. You know, you can flip a switch or something and it, you can use solar energy electric energy or something or a com- combination of all of them and this would take uh, brothers with a scientific or scientific type mass so you need in that school to have a science engineering class a designer class so the brothers could take those old scrap cars uh, you know like how they do on Pimp My Riders and other uh, other auto shows they could take an old car and make their own car out of it. They could take an old car and make their own car out of it. Also, we need to be moving to alternative energies like solar energy and windmill energy. How, how about making or having a solar panel factory and uh, or a wind, wind energy factory? Uh, factory, you can combine them both together, you know, you got hydrogen energy, you got, you got all, all types of alternative energies, and all, and uh, brother Young Pharaoh, he could, uh, since he got a scientific mind, he could get these young brothers that got a mind like him, that, because I know you're attracting those type of brothers, and y'all can sit up, shop here in Detroit. Also, you can buy this, some of this lot up and some of these lands uh, with these lots. Like you got some, some lots that's uh, 300 acres. And if you can do that, you know, uh, buy up some of these lots, well, you can put what you want on them. Or you could lease them out. You can lease them out to developers, you know. And they could develop some stores or whatever they want, some complexes on them. And also you could buy up a bunch of vacant homes and get the homeless people to work on them. And if they keep them work, you know, worked up and stuff, you know, y'all work out a program where they could uh, live there. And uh, it's a place... Uh, here in Detroit, over there on the Oak, uh, Oakman Boulevard between uh, Linwood and 12th called Focus Hope. Now, that's a cool school, you know, started by a, a Caucasian man, and he got brothers uh, working as machinists. But they, they don't, they're not uh, entrepreneur type. They go and work in a factory or something. So the concept... It's good, but we need the we need the brothers to develop their own uh, businesses off of that. And so uh, y'all can get some of these influential uh, brothers, you know, with some money instead of you know trying to get the poor people's money all the time and uh, campaign for that. Build up Detroit because Detroit is a port city. Plus, it's got all the fresh water 
in one spot, in one body, in the whole planet, man, on the whole planet. That's why they're trying to poison it. You know, uh, poison the water supply. Get the brothers out of, out of Detroit, you know, so uh, Vegas could come in and, you know, they people could come in from across the, across the sea, come in and take over, you know. So uh, Detroit is temple number one, and that's why Master Farad came here to raise up the most honorable Elijah Muhammad, uh, you know, because he went straight to Black Bottom. And back in the day, Black Bottom had a lot of black business owners. They had Paradise Valley. They had a, the Gotham Hotel. You know, we was doing it until they uh, uh, devised a plan to break it up. So they got so much land here, they waiting on them Europeans to come over here, them immigrants and refugees to come over here. They plan on uh, letting them them Caucasian Europeans uh, set up shop over here. So this is one thing that y'all brothers could do that'll make that'll make everybody think y'all cool, you know, by y'all coming together. And if y'all can make that work, I say y'all true revolutionaries, you know. I think that's a plan right there. It's a big plan, but ain't nothing to it but to do it, you know? And uh, I'm gonna make this short. I might come back with a, another one after this, uh, just to add icings to the cake. This is Black Light Out.